We're in East Texas and it's been over a week since Hurricane Harvey hit, but this area is still completely devastated. On the way here, we just passed by a house where a woman lost her father after he was swept up in the water. We passed by a neighborhood that's been evacuated within a mile because of multiple explosions at a chemical plant. Hardly any cars can get through on this flooded road right here. We're half a mile down the road in Baytown, Texas, which got hit very hard by the flooding. And many families like this one are just returning to their homes for the first time. So we're with Robert, his daughter Kaylee, her husband Leo, and their house was really hit hard by the flood. The water's now gone down. You guys are just coming back for the first time. Yeah, we came during the flood first, uh, probably a couple of days after the rain stopped. And it was probably about four foot or five foot above here. And we went inside and got rescued my pig and my cats. And my cats didn't want to leave. You can see they tore me up pretty good. Can you guys show us what it's like inside right now? Yeah, it was probably right in here. My, my skeleton. Uh, this was the highest it was? Yeah. yeah. Well, it was, water. It was how high it was when we got here. It was probably higher before we got here. Oh probably my started God. receding. We tied the boat here. And I went in. I just pulled myself up to the second floor. and went up top. We came in the house. This couch was floating about this high. No way. Yeah. And the sea is still kind of dry. It was like this high. It's, it is dry. Well, it's kind of dense. This so. is it, but the pillow's dry. God blessed me with a good job, good health, so I'm very, very lucky that we all got out safe. It's just, it's upsetting because I lost good sentimental stuff. My grandfather's Bible was down here and, and stuff like that. It, this is the house you grew up in? It, I mean, it is, but as long as, you know, my dad was safe, they got that pig out, um, I mean, it's all replaceable. So the house is replaceable, so I'm not worried about it. You guys have an amazing attitude. Uh. I think I'm more chipper than him, but yeah. gotta keep his I get choked up thinking of my grandfather's stuff. Yeah. My dad died as a young man, but other than that. Well, we that some stuff. Of them I got the irreplaceable stuff out, but you know, there's some little things I forgot about, didn't have time about. But yeah, so So you took what you could when you took what I could fast because it came up fast, it was it was good way back and I just, oh we ain't gonna flood. What did you take with you? Uh my wife and some clothes. That's it. That's it. And some my cell phone. You could have a cell phone of course for you can call people, but that's it. You can see where it's already molding on the cabinets. Yeah. Uh, the water was probably I don't know my paper towels that I bought ain't all that they're a little wet, so they got up it got above the sink. So if we counter. were here at the height of the flood we would the water would probably, probably be, be around here maybe like, well here see here's the line here. Yeah we would so be, be here, waist deep waist, in it. Waist deep right here that's with the door shut. So your, your doors act like a dam, mm -hmm. you know, so it's not as deep as, it's deeper outside than it is in here. Yeah. So you can see where that line is there. So it got to right there. So it was above that cabinet. So That's crazy. You, and and the, we can go back, back up that way. We, my office furniture was in there, my gun safe in there. Heck, the guns are safe in there? No, no, they're not in there. Okay. <laughs> and then, and it's oh, a gun safe. Gun safe. You took your guns. And help him out see some light here, but. It's just a mess. How do you even begin to process like next steps at this well, point? Right now, I want to think about where I'm going to live for the next. They don't want me to live with them forever. Because you're with your daughter now. <laughs> yeah, they just got married in July, so first of July first. They just so they're newlyweds, so you gotta get out the house. <laughs> so here we live out here in the country part of Baytown. So people get farm animals, they get horses and they get cows. So you can have farm animals, live animals. There's dead cows floating across the street. You know, there's uh, horses were dead and drowned. It's really sad, you know, animals drown. People use them for uh, income, their house, you know. Okay, it looks cataclysmic out there. Yeah, it looks bad. For us, it's the little stuff that you don't even think about, like plates and spoons. So this is all underneath all muddy water. So of course they wash up, but I don't have that right now. Yeah. I don't have a pillow. I don't have a blanket. I don't, uh, but it's, but if it went from them, I wouldn't. So yeah. if you take you take them out of my life, right there, all my other families and friends, and that's what people have. They have nothing. They got out what they got out with. <laughs> 